if you haven't if you haven't had sadness or pain in your life, you don't understand the joy. You don't understand mm -hmm. what joy is. Yes. So it's it's exactly what you're saying. So you just really have to. I mean, gosh, I, I remember. I don't regret many things. I regret you know the things that I did in Anne and leaving her and the stupid things. But again. That, that has been, I remember when I, Heather Parsons wrote a book called A Light Between the Hills and she asked me, because she was one of the travel agents who gave me the free ticket to go to Medjugorje and she wanted to, to write a story. So my story is in this beautiful book called A Light Between the Hills and I remember driving down to meet with her to do the interview and said, I'm not going to talk about the breakup of the marriage, I'm not going to talk about it. And she asked me a question and I just blah, 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 the whole thing and she said, I didn't ask you that. And I said, oh, well, I, I wasn't going to talk about this. She said, well, I can take it out. And I said, oh, well, no, obviously, if I blurted it out, the Lord wants me to do it. But then I had to go to my mum, because my mum, when she heard it, she said, oh, don't talk about that, son. You know, the family, the family situation, yeah, yeah. don't talk about that, son. Yeah. So I had to call her and say to her, oh, mum. And she said, how did it go there? I said, it was great, mum. But, mum, I said, you know, I said, I didn't want to talk about it. I was all set not to talk about it. I said, and I did. And she turned and said, you know, that's great, son, because she, that'll probably help somebody else. So, you know, I was worried about her, and yet she mm -hmm. was the one who, who said, you know, and it has, mm -hmm. it has. That book has been, it's brought so many people to Medjugorje, because yes. they're just, again, human stories, yes. Susan. I mean, you know yourself, uh, the, the Lord was on earth, and he was a storyteller. Yeah. And that's, he told wonderful parables, and that's what you mm -hmm. and I do. We, we tell parables, whether it's in the spoken word, or whether it's through song. I think that's because we listen with our heart, you don't try to no. end like the whole no, damn thing I up here. You see. It just goes straight yeah. here. Yeah, when, when I was in the rock and roll business, I, I, the only heart I had was my head, because I loved me and I'd know. I mean, I sang songs and they meant nothing to me. But now, you know, as you say, it comes from the heart, but it goes into the head. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 that, that has been the greatest joy for me, you know. And I remember Anne saying to me when I recorded Let Me Live, the album, she said, The day that you decided to do the work for the Lord, your whole voice changed. So it's, mm -hmm. it's the heart, obviously, entering into it. So today, as we sit here now, mm -hmm. David physically is doing well. David Spiritually is Spiritually, sounds to be really I'm doing, doing well. I, Really, I, I'm so blessed. I really and truly. Uh, I, I, there are days in the morning when I pinch myself and say, is, is, is this true? Are you really doing this? But once the Lord hit me with that baseball bat, <laughs> and once he got me to say yes, my life just took off. Fully happy with your life today. Fully, absolutely. You know, I mean, I would like to be able to spend a little bit more time with the family, but, you know, there will come a time when that will happen, you know. But, uh, I mean, my family are doing so much great work. Ken, Lorna, Gary, and Anne, is, Anne spiritually is miles ahead of me. When I, went, when I left Anne, she turned to the Lord. She uh, went to nice daily Anne, mass. Your wife. My wife, yeah. Uh, from, from the day when I left Anne and that stupid period uh, uh, before she took me back, she decided, well, listen, I'm not going to let you ruin me. I'm going to go and talk to the Lord. And that's, that's what's kept her. And she is so strong in her faith. I'll ask you a question, and you could just not answer it if you don't want to, but just for men that might be having difficulty in their mm -hmm. marriages, would you say that sometimes fear might drive that or... Unhappiness with self might drive that. A lot they, of it. A lot of it, yeah. What would you yeah. advise a, a person, whether it's a man or a woman? It used to be just the men, now it's the women. Yeah. What would you say to somebody that's contemplating maybe leaving, not sure why, really has a good partner, but something happened and he can't get a hand? What would you say to yeah, somebody? Well, I, I think we've got to look at ourselves. You know, uh, sometimes we men get very selfish and, you know, we will push ourselves just to upset the partner. You know, I'm going to make this decision, and that's it. We don't probably, we don't want to make it, but we've gone so far. Pride is in there, and we can't go back. Really, that's that's we've pushed. We were sort of, I remember deliberately uh, rowing with that, deliberate just to make the situation untenable, just to say, oh, there's no living here. But I would say to people, you know, listen, if you lose the spiritual, you've got to come back to God, you know, really and truly, because without Him, life is just chaotic. There's no sense or meaning to your life. So try so to keep try, that. Try and go back to the Lord and, 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 and get the strength from there. And with that strength, you can cope with anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, with Ken's illness, once I, once I accepted 
Once I accepted that Ken was the blessing and was the gift, our relationship started to... And that was Ken, your son, yeah, who had the lung cystic transplant? Fibrosis, yeah, with cystic fibrosis. Right. So I couldn't accept Ken's illness. Mm -hmm. I was a professional soccer player. So you blamed everybody? Blame God. Blame God. Yeah. You know, you gave, me a, you gave me a reject. And in doing that, you isolated yourself. I put myself out in a limb. But then mm -hmm. you see yeah. the human mind, you see then all the love that Ken was getting. I was saying, That's, that should have been for me. I yeah. wasn't getting that. You know, it's a jealousy. Get, a jealousy. Ah, it's nothing but jealousy. And that's, yeah. I, I can honestly say that's what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, you sort of say, well, you know, well, there's no love here for me. It's all going to him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what do I get out of this thing? Only abuse and whatever. Well, I think it's wonderful that you share so openly because among our viewers, I would say there's many, many that are having difficult marriages at this time mm -hmm. for one or another reason. Mm -hmm. And what Pressure. you're saying is to yeah. them that. Yeah. If they can step back, you know, take God as the base. Put God first. God first, and mm. he will give him or her the strength to uh, see and work through I it. remember being at a conference, and I just can't remember the retired bishop's name, but he gave a wonderful talk, and the talk was, uh, I'm third. That's what it is. Uh, so he put the Lord, he put his family, and then he put himself. Mm -hmm. So whereas yeah, we yeah. tend to put me number one, yeah. family number two, and whatever else after that. God somewhere, but he, he said, you know, you put God number one, put the family, and then you put yourself in it. Well, I thought it was gorgeous, yes. really, really wonderful. But we need to, you know, we're, we're selfish people. Yeah. But today, what you have done, so to bring it back into uh, to the day, said you found God mm -hmm. in your life, you allowed him to mm -hmm. work in your life. Mm -hmm. Through that, your family was healed, yeah. and you and your wife and, and family are intact again. Absolutely. Yeah. And you have a wonderful mission that God has called you to be on. Yeah. yeah. And the future is nothing but... Oh, it's, it's on the up. Oh, I can't, I can't. Uh, so that could be day gets better. Very important witness that you have in your healing, in your doubt, in your healing. That's right. In your family. Mm -hmm. You can, I mean, God's put you where he wants you to be. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, Still a long way to go, but I, I, I'm just relishing yeah. it. Well, he just, got lots of time. Uh,